Okay, so this is kind of this part two of creating a welcome email, um, actually working with constant contact. Um, so I'm still building out that welcome email we started in class. Um, and this is the graphic that we made in class. So maybe I'll just do a file export, export as. And I'm going to use artboards because I do have some things outside of my artboard that I don't want showing in my file that I export. So Kate Spade welcome email. This is the follow along that we've done in class together. But I'm just going to export this graphic as a PNG, uh, checking use artboards. Um, I'm not going to make it 300. I might make it 150. Um, 72 would probably be fine, 72, 72 PPI. Um, that's for screen, that's the resolution for screen, but I just went ahead and made it 150 um, just because, I don't know, I just don't want it to get blurry. Um, I don't think it will, but eh, better to better safe than sorry. So we'll return back to uh, week 11 in Electronic Design 1. We'll click on this and it'll take us to the Constant Contact site. And here we can actually <clears throat> experience awesome email and results 60 day free trial right here. Um, so we'll, we're going to sign up free. And then we just need to enter the email address here. So I was kind of hung up there because I wasn't quite sure which email I should use because I can't use the one I used last year. So um, just enter in your email that you want to use. Remember, Constant Contact will be sending you emails so if you have one that you don't one email account that you don't care about as much you might want to use that so you're not getting a bunch of spam but you can always later mark it as spam anything you get from constant contact so that's one way but just be aware that they will be sending you emails to your inbox so this is you know where you would sign in to constant contact where you start your free trial i'm going to fill this out you need to do that as well and i will start the video back up so I put in my same email password and I actually put in a fake phone number because I don't want them calling me or texting me. Um, so you might want to consider doing that as well. Go ahead and push get started. Oh, I guess you have to put this in here. I'll put in Montana State University Northern and then I'll push get started. Okay, and that's going to think for a bit. I can save my password. And it's going to take us to a page here pretty soon. Let me pause it. So it took me here. It's going to ask me probably some questions to get started. So we'll just say, let's go. Um, I think I'm just going to do like an education thing here, but like if you guys want to maybe put something um, in here that would go along with the business that you might be wanting to choose for sending out your welcome email. Um, or I think we're going to do abandoned card emails. And so like whatever company you're wanting to do email marketing for, you can obviously um, choose that. You can say, not sure I'm new to this on the marketing goal. Uh, do you already have a list of contacts? No. Sometimes, you know, some people come into this and they actually already have a list compiled of of email addresses that they're wanting to start sending things, um, sending emails to. It's asking me if I have a website. I'm just going to say no. You know, we can say no again on do you sell online? Uh, what's trying to sell me, but say no. Uh, yes, take me to my dashboard would be the next step. Uh, no thanks. Okay, so getting started, we need to verify our email address. So we need to check the inbox that we signed up with um, for a constant contact. Um, and so we'll have to do this first. So let me go to that same thing, um, same email, Gmail account that I'm using for constant contact. And then we're just going to, you know, go to the inbox. I do have an email from constant contact and I can verify my email by clicking on this button. So that's going to be important. Um, it says successful. So take me to constant contact. 
Step two, create an email. Choose from hundreds of templates or build your own. Um, add contacts. Contacts. So choose the best way to get your contacts, contacts into your account. No list, no problem. Um, so they're kind of launching us right into stuff here, but actually we could go to the contacts section first because I actually want to show you how to build out an email address list first. Looks like they've updated it since last year, which is wonderful. So one of the things that's automatically going to be in here is this general interest list. Um, if we go into this, it just has your own email in it, which is fine. Um, back to lists. We could actually delete this because it's just something that they automatically put in there and I just, I don't really want it in here. So just click here, go to actions and push delete. And we can just create our own list. So create list, maybe it won't let me delete that for some reason. But anyway, let's just move on from there. Um, let's look at, so let's just do welcome email list. So we're gonna create that. Um, this list doesn't have any contacts. Um, so we can add contacts up here, create a new contact, copy or paste contacts or upload from a file. So sometimes if you have an Excel document with like a list of email addresses, you can just export it in from a file, which is really handy. Um, or if you have a CSV file, which is very similar to an Excel, you can do it this way. Um, but we're just going to create a new contact the old fashioned way. Um, Sorry, I keep on forgetting what my... I'm going to use the same one that I signed up with. Mayor, Mayor, Ward, MT at Gmail. Mayor, Mayor, Ward, MT at Gmail.com. Okay. Um, so we'll continue. Yeah. And then, you know, you can actually put in job titles, company, birthday, anniversary, addresses, phone numbers, that kind of thing, create custom fields for it, but we're not going to do that. We're just, we're just, and you can create tags, um, create tags to organize your contacts and send targeted campaigns. So maybe, you know, if this person is um, a certain demographic, you might add that to the name, um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep this super basic. So we're going to do save. So um, that, that email should be on the welcome email list. And then we can create another contact. Um, so add contacts. So we're still in the welcome email list, you can see here. So create new contact. So I'm just gonna put my other email in here. Um, so what I want you to do with your welcome email contact list is I want you to put your email in there, the one that you want to use, probably the same one that you signed up for constant contact with. And then I want you to use my Gmail. Um, so that is mt at gmail.com. So this is the one I'm wanting you to use and then your own email. So it's going to be sending this, e these emails to your, to you and to me. Um, so continue. Um, kind of takes us back to this page where you can add in extra things and tags. Um, you can actually, you know, if you had multiple lists, you're like, oh, I want to add this person to every list, then you can do that. But obviously we're just making this list right now. We're not working with the general interest. So create, oops, you might have to put this here there. So you have to like say, check, I, I have permission. So this is how you would build out an email test list from scratch. Obviously, if you have a file with a bunch of email addresses in it, you can just upload it from a file. But we can actually go back to lists. And I'm still wanting to delete this. So delete the list and contacts, delete. So we just have the one thing here, welcome email list. 
Um, and that's what we're going to use to send out our Kate Spade welcome email. And that's what you're going to use to send out um, your welcome email series that you make on your own after we're done constructing the welcome, the Kate Spade welcome email together in class.